Welcome back to a new tutorial and in this one we'll be doing backboard resets and we will be doing double backboard resets as well. So here are all the packs I'll be using. All of these are useful to just download and keep for yourself and to practice these mechanics. One of them is just a ball standing still to practice your multiple backboard resets. One of them's one from a pass and the other one's from a pass as well but from a different angle. So you've got every angle and one of them as the ball standing still. So you want to start with Faith's pack, so the one where the ball's just standing still and practice just getting four wheels on the ball and recovering to hit the ball again with your flip. It's going to be hard at first, but just with a grind, it will be good. Make sure your car's got a bit of an angle leaning backwards. This makes the ball go upwards and forwards. It also makes it easier to get four wheels on the ball and therefore getting the flip reset. Make sure you hit all four wheels or the middle of your car so it gets a flip reset like shown on screen now. Now on the same pack, on Faith's pack, skip another shot and it will be the ball bouncing on the floor and moving upwards. This is basically the same shot as before but the ball move, moving upwards. This will help a bit more and be a bit harder, so good luck. Now for Silence's pack. This pack is a lot harder than the one before. This is from a pass from the side. Or you can use TX's shots where the pass is from the middle, but I recommend learning this one first. As this pack's very hard, I'll give you some tips on how to improve with this pack and with the shot overall. Not just the backboard reset, but with the setup as well. Take in mind that the setup can be as important as the backboard reset. And this is a perfect setup every time, so in game it would be a lot harder. You can use Baxmod plugins to make the ball different speeds each time, but at first I recommend just using this default pack. You also need to be able to be very good at double taps normally, before you go on to backboard resets like this. Before I get into it, you need to have very very good mechanics for this. As I said before, double taps, redirects, all of those mechanics and basic me mechanics you need to know how to do and you can improve this by doing this on workshop maps. I've got tutorials on it in my description on how to improve it on Xbox and any console and on PC. So definitely check those out if your mechanics aren't good enough yet for this. So now let's get into the actual shot. You need to hit the very back and very bottom of the ball. This is so it goes high and faster. You need it to be going high and fast so it goes on your four wheels and gets the reset easier and higher up so it's easier to hit the ball in and not be near the floor. After you redirect the ball towards the ball, it's easier to just not air roll as you'll see what I'm doing now. You can air roll to the ball, but in my opinion, it's easier to do this and it's easier to have the leans back on your car so you get the reset as well. You need to be jumping late, so when your car goes upwards and hits the ball, the car is right at the back of the ball. You can jump earlier and do this, but it's just harder and you won't get as much speed as if you do jump later, going up, getting the speed on the ball and hitting at the back of the ball. This helps a lot with the redirects and setup and the backboard reset at the end. The recoveries will be a lot harder than Faith's pack, the standing ball pack, but just keep grinding the shot and it'll help a lot for it. This shot's basically just a big grind and every day doing it a bit, well, not for a bit, but quite a long time, how much you can handle. As I said before, you need a very good setup. This is so the ball's in a perfect position for it to be like Faith's pack before. And this will help a lot as your muscle, muscle memory from Faith's pack will go on to Silence's pack and therefore in-game and any setups. Having a perfect setup will help a lot to get four wheels on your ball and leaning back straight after your redirect. This will help your double and triple backboard resets after you can do the single a lot more having a perfect setup. So 
not much else to say for the single backboard resets except just grind and grind and practice and practice. The only way you'll improve is practicing and using these small tips for your advantage but it's mainly just you learning and you grinding it. One last thing for your backboard resets and this is your cam work, car cam and ball cam. It will be quite hard at first but it's just muscle memory doing the cam work and why do this? It's a lot easier to get the shot done and also it's a lot cleaner when you're applying for clans, more cleaner when you show your mates and more cleaner when you post your clip or show anyone. So I'd recommend learning cam work as it will help out a lot. So as you'll see in this clip, I've put in the bottom left hand corner what cam work I am in and you can apply that to your game and your shot. I'm going to pause the video here to say that 91% of you aren't subscribed to the channel. So if you could go down below, hit the bell and sub to the channel, it would be greatly appreciated. I do weekly tutorials and general videos on Rocket League and it would just mean a lot if you subbed and liked my videos and hopefully see you in the future ones. Now for the double backboard reset. I'm not the best at these, I can do them, but I'm sure there's other tutorials out there that show it better than mine. But if there isn't, use this one as it may help a tiny bit. But as I said, I'm not the best at it. The double backboard reset's a lot harder than the single. It's mainly just grinding the shot and mechanics being a lot better and having the perfect setup, having the perfect backboard reset. So basically just grinding. But there is a few little tips I can give you to hopefully help this shot a lot. For example, heli stalling, basically stall cancels, getting the reset and other little things that I'll say now. I'll start off with the stall cancels, aka heli stalls. These are when you cancel your stall and it's completely flat stall. You can do stall binds but that's just cheating and I think everyone should be doing them legit. And there are tutorials out there for this, I won't be going too much in depth for them in this video. I've got one tutorial for stalls as well, it'll be all in the description below or search on YouTube. You do this by tapping the other arrow straight after your stall. This is so it cancels your stall and therefore has a flat stall. This will help a lot getting your four wheels on the ball after your stall on the wall. You have to have your dead zones quite high for this as if it's really low you'll have much less consistent stalls. For example anywhere between 0.15 to 0.4. This is my recommendation for stalling dead zones. Now you've got all this down, practice doing heli stalls without the ball in free play and just getting those consistent and being ready to do them in the backboard reset. Also learning to do 360, st 360 stalls off the ceiling could maybe help as well. I'm not sure, just whatever you find best. Now for the next part. As I said before, having the perfect setup and having the perfect first backboard reset will help so much. And having your car below the ball when you do the stall that will help your car go upwards and maintain the height when the ball falls down towards your car. When you stall, having a tiny bit of your car leaning upwards, like before in the first reset, this can help a lot getting the reset, not having your car facing forwards or completely flat, but it can work when it's completely flat. I also find it easier when you're Stalling going in a circle and when you get the reset is when your car is facing up or when it's nearly facing upwards. I find this will help in the recovery and make it easier in general to get the reset and to get the bit after your reset to actually score the goal. You also need to judge how fast the ball's going, how far it will go downwards or if it will just go straight back in the same direction. This, is, can, this can be judged by the height on the ball can also be judged on the speed as well so if it goes really fast it might not go downwards as much if it goes really slowly it might just fall further down more than you expect so always judge this in mind and it might help being quite close to the ball in some scenarios when it's going slower 
maybe a bit further out when it's going faster, you get what I mean. Second to last, it is quite hard to get the recoveries but it would just take time. As I said before, this shot's only a grind and just keep grinding every day for it and you'll see improvement and eventually you'll get it. This won't take a day or so, it will only take a day or so if you've got very very good mechanics. But as I said, keep grinding, improve your mechanics daily and it will eventually come and you'll be very happy when it does come. So make sure you grind the recoveries, it's a bit different to the single uh, backboard reset recovery but it will be hard and it's basically learning yourself, not seeing it off others as much. Finally the cam work, this bit isn't essential but it will help in scoring the goal and as I said before the cleanness of the shot and Getting into clans can be as much as just having good cam work and it will help you out a lot with the cleanness in your posts as well. So make sure you've got this cam work down and in the bottom left hand corner it will say what cam I'm in at the time and just copy that and do it in your own game and clips. So that's all for these mechanics, thanks a lot for watching. Put your questions below and put what shots you want to see next below. I'm hopefully making a comeback, sorry I haven't uploaded much, just had exams and not much motivation to play the game to hopefully come back slowly and like and sub and see you all later.